I'm going to look at the work of the International Law Commission in relation to the Most Favoured Nation Clause, what the Commission has done in the past, and what has led it to look at the subject of the Most Favoured Nation Clause again. And this raises questions both about the topic of Most Favoured Nation Clause, or MFN as I shall sometimes call it, and also the role of the International Law Commission. Well, the starting point is what are we talking about with an MFN clause? What does a most favored nation clause mean? Well, a most favored nation clause in a treaty is a provision under which a state agrees to treat another state no less favorably than it treats any third state. And that